In section five, we're going to focus on building a sample project and consolidating our ideas. That is, we're going to take all of the stuff that we've seen so far, both practical and theoretical stuff, and we're going to apply that in the creation of a single consolidated project. In this section of the course, I'm going to use everything that we've seen so far to put together a pretty simple level. It's going to be an exterior environment using the terrain assets. We're going to have all kind of watery environment in which we'll have some moving platforms that the player can run and jump to avoid and jump on. So to get started at doing this, I'm going to switch to the scene tab and create a completely new terrain object that's going to mark out the terrain for the level. So I'm going to choose Game Objects, 3D Objects, and then select Terrain from the menu to create a completely new terrain object. Now as we've seen before, by default the terrain is created absolutely massive, and we don't really want that. So I'm going to switch to the cog icon to control the properties for the generated terrain. And you can see under the terrain width and length section here that we have a pretty large terrain. So I'm going to reduce this down to about 128 by 128. And remember these units are measured in meters here. So this is 128 by 128 meters and that should be absolutely large enough. Now thankfully by default the terrain is marked as static meaning that it will never move. So this is a pretty good configuration to begin with. Now, because we're going to be creating a terrain that's going to involve some water, the next thing I want to do is to establish the water level of the environment. Now, to create water assets, I've imported the environment effects package, and you can do that quite easily by simply choosing assets, import package, and then choose environment. And included inside that package is the water asset. I can easily access that by moving to the project panel in the assets section in the standard assets folder. I'm going to access the environment section and then choose water. Now we have different folders available. Water 4 is the water asset that is used for Unity 4. So I'm going to select the standard water asset here. And in the prefabs folder we have different uh, water assets here. For example, we have the night water asset. But I'm just going to use the daytime one and drag and drop that into the scene. Now, by default, it's actually far too small here. So I'm just going to increase the size to maybe something like 128 by 128 by 128. So something kind of like this. And I'm going to set that to the world origin. Actually, I'm just going to offset that a little bit because actually it's to the corner of the terrain here. And really, I just want to kind of center this onto the terrain so that we have water scanning across the environment. Now, I'm going to raise the water up in the level just a little bit here. So I'm going to switch to the translate tool and just raise the water into the environment here. So about two meters deep should be enough for the moment. So I'm going to bring that into the level to around about here. And now I can start sculpting the environment. So I'm going to select the terrain mesh here and then switch to the sculpt tool on the left hand side. And I can kind of use my brush to push and pull elements of the terrain here. Now I think perhaps the opacity of the brush is a little bit too strong. So I'm going to dial that down to something in the middle here and then click and drag and maybe in fact that's perhaps still a little bit too strong so I'm just going to reduce it to something kind of like this and actually here we're getting perhaps a slightly better strength here so I can kind of come in and start to sculpt the basic terrain here like so so maybe kind of come in and sculpt some of this you can see we're getting a partially submerged environment here so kind of a flooded terrain and that's fine that's the kind of thing that I want here so bring that up into about here now I'm going to kind of link together just the landmass just a little bit to create some kind of connection 
that will allow the player to travel between the islands. If I want to lower something, I can hold down the shift key and just click gently to just kind of lower the terrain just a little bit. Create a kind of connectivity between the disparate islands in the environment here. So something like around about there. And I think I've managed to kind of connect the different pieces together. In this environment, I don't, I don't really want to allow the player to kind of enter the water here. So maybe something kind of like this. We've got this sort of environment here for the player. Now, of course, I want to also add a first person controller so that the player character can walk around the environment. So I'm going to go back to the assets folder here and access the standard assets and then simply choose characters. So I'm going to access characters, then first person character, then in the prefabs, I'm going to drag and drop the first person controller into the scene. Now you can see that in comparison to the environment, it's absolutely tiny. It just goes to remind us how large the environment is here. So I'm going to grab this player character. I'm also going to tag this as the player character so that this is now centered inside the environment. I'm going to switch to the game tab and activate the mute button here and then give this a quick test run by pressing play on the toolbar so I can kind of see my player character. I can see the water taking effect here. Right now it looks like a kind of polar or arctic landscape here but it won't do shortly as soon as I begin to paint the environment. So we're getting these kind of water effects that we can see here. It's looking pretty nice so far. Again, notice it's a daytime scene. We're going to have the ability later in the next section to create a day and night cycle. But in reaching this far, I've managed to pretty quickly establish a base terrain here. And things are looking pretty good.